Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salatu wa salatu wa I came here not to celebrate only the 10th anniversary of Beni Atid, not only to be with you, but I came here to be elevated by the new initiative that Beni Atid is taking, to stand next to a new elevator in the community, Shakira. Shakira is the one that made me to come here. To be very honest, when I look at this vision, I look at the new generation to come, I look at how can we build not only Great Britain, but humanity. Our role as Muslims does not stay on one location, in one location. Our role as, human, as Muslims is to go beyond humanity, is to go to the galaxies and the other planets. And this is our vision. We we'll start from nowhere, but we we'll go anywhere and somewhere to make that change. We we'll start from nothing, but we we'll go to do a lot of things to save humanity and build the community. Our role as Muslims is not only to fight Islamophobia, is to create the issue of being respected, loved, and being looked after for every member in our community. This is the true teaching of Muhammad Sallallahu This is the true teaching of Jesus, peace be upon him. This is the true teaching of Moses and every lover of humanity. Today, we celebrate the 10th anniversary. That's fine, but this is the beginning. The beginning of building a very sophisticating a roadmap, not only for Wakefield, not only for Britain, but for humanity. When you look at humanity, you feel that you are a human being. When you look at humanity, you feel that you have a role to play. When you look at humanity, you feel that you are responsible for every being in the humanity, not every human being. And this was actually shown clearly at the time of the fifth caliph, Omar ibn Abd Aziz, when he was asking for anybody in the community, whether Muslims or non-Muslims, believer or non-believer, needs help, he said, no, we don't need, because we have justice in the community, we have fairness in the community. We have everything. You know what he did, everyone here in this room? He went to throw the seeds in the desert and on the top of the mountain to not let the birds and the animals feel hungry. And this is where we help any being in the humanity. Humanity starts at heart. It's in heart. It's not a speech. It's in you. The responsibility, it's love, it's care, it's building, it's bending your back, it's making your body as a bridge for the community and for everyone. This is humanity that each and every one of us can stand for. I'm not going to cry for the Christchurch uh, martyrs. I stopped crying. I stopped crying. No time to cry. No time to weep. No time to shed tears. It's time to build. It's time to create leadership. It's time to show humanity that we need to be together. And this is what we are working together for. And I'm very happy to stand today next to my son. Come up. Order. <laughs> and then to do it. Where is she here? She's here. This side. Come on. I'm not going to speak anymore. I want to take the photograph between two generations. My generation is failing. But they are rising. And my generation has finished or done the duty. And this is the duty done by you and by you, my daughter. Okay? <laughs> Thank you.
Will you become my elevator? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Honey Alvana.